The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Give me a second here so I can plug in my phone, which is nearly dead, even though I should have done that uh, about a thousand years ago. And now we're going to actually, I think we're going to go to this one. So I said in the last video we were going to go explore some... Is that a Markarth? No, that's Dawnstar. So Dawnstar is... Uh, right there. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can go get a cart there. Anyway, I said in the last video I'm going to explore a bunch of the towns and just get some quests, but I think I'm going to go start that museum thing because I feel like I really want Mayrune's dagger just for the sole reason that there's like a 3% chance it can kill whoever you're attacking. You take Where do you want to go? Instantly, instantly kills them. So, Dawnstar, right? Yeah. Climb and back and we'll be off. But if I could open up the map, I'm pretty sure I remember one of the pieces of that dagger is inside of a really, really, really horrible Forsworn encampment. So, I think it's like, I want to say it's down here somewhere. It might be over there. In fact, it could be somewhere here. I, I, I remember it being on the edge of a map. And it's so weird because it's like a Draugr ruin. And it's incredibly long, and you finally get through it, and then you discover a new location, and you have to go through a whole new place, and that location is basically just a shortcut. Also, I'm pretty sure the Dark Brotherhood spot is here. Yeah, the, the next, the kind of secret Dark Brotherhood sanctuary, that's, that's over here, so that's cool. Thoring runs the inn. Speak to him. Sure thing, hey guard. They say that vampires attacked the Hall of the Vigilant, burned it to the ground. Never heard of vampires doing anything like that before. All of the vigilant. Yeah, where's that? Like, I know the vampire place is like up there, but what the heck? <laughs> okay, I may be heading over there then one day. That might be kind of fun. Ah, there's so much to do in this game and so little hard drive space. Would we be giving our little one if we stayed? God, I'm so tired. Not much. I came here a few years ago from Hammerfell when I married. The land is beautiful, but I can't stand this cold. I don't know how Rustleif manages it. Oops. I help my. That's right. Home of the Red Guards. A land of sand and seas. I hope one day I'll convince Rustleif to take us back there. Until then, I'm content running the forge together here in Dawnstar. I really hope there's an Elder Scrolls game time. that is not Seems Elder Scrolls like no Online. A decent night's rest in Dawnstar, stranger. Best buy your steel and move on. That is not Elder Scrolls Online that has uh, Hammerfell in it. Nightmares. I haven't met a single man or woman who doesn't admit to having a bad dream. I can handle. But everyone having the same bad dream every night? It's a curse, I say. I hear there's a priest of Mara visiting the inn. Maybe the divines will cure us. I I worked on a few moorings here and there for it. Most of the ship captains are superstitious about who works on their vessels, though. And Dawnstar is known for its bad luck. We're the last port of call before Windhelm, and the ore we trade makes rich targets for pirates. Come back if you need steel. Man, it is freezing cold, so my fingers are just like crackable every 10 seconds. Okay, so I kind of want to go into the inn. Is this where it is? No. Where's the inn? It's up there. I think Dawnstar's for some reason one of my favorite towns here, but you know. Lady Mara would save us from these nightmares. You'll see. We hope so. I know I've done this quest too, but I don't really remember what it's all about, which I, that's so weird because I remember every single quest in Oblivion pretty vividly, at least what I think trouble? I do. And what might you need? The entire town is being plagued by horrible nightmares. They're in serious danger, and I'm afraid there's little I can do about it. These dreams are manifestations created by the Daedric Lord, Vermina. She has an awful hunger for our memories. In return, she leaves behind nightmares 
Not unlike a cough marks a serious illness. I must end her terrible influence over these people before the damage becomes permanent. I need to return to the source of the problem, to Nightcrawler Temple. Perhaps you'd be willing to assist me in that regard. I've already said too much. If anyone overhears what we're saying, it could start a panic. I would simply ask that you trust me and help me end Dawnstar's nightmares. Wonderful. My Lady Mara will be quite pleased. Nightcaller Temple is only a short walk from Dawnstar. Come, we must hurry. Okay, I remember this quest. I'm not gonna spoil it though, and just in case I'm wrong. Their Mina resides in a strange realm known as Quagmire, a nightmarish land where reality shifts upon itself in seemingly impossible ways. From her citadel at the center, she reaches forth to collect our memories, leaving nothing in return apart from visions of horror and despair. Who can say? Perhaps she collects them for display like works of art in a nonsensical art gallery. Whatever the case may be, her intentions are far from benevolent. I promise to So we'll probably go do that quest too, but if I... Hey, I didn't know you were the bard. Oh wait, do I? No, 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 I didn't know she was the bard. Anyway, we'll probably go do that quest, but I think we end up having to fight some really tough person, if I'm remembering it correctly. I'm pretty sure I remember that one. That one seems pretty memorable, but yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see what that one's like later. There. Oh, dear goodness. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Oh, good gosh. Oh, crap. Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, Deceiver. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. And you're gonna summon a flame at your knock. Oh, this is not gonna go well. I think we'd be running into them this early. This is kind of unfortunate, but guards, like, guards help. Okay. My gosh. Okay, thank goodness. Wow, why is my health so dang low? Okay, there's one cultist down. Let's see what he's got. Cultist orders, and yeah, I'll take all of that. Ooh, a dwarf attack, cool. Where's the other one? Oh, dead. Good. And you have the Orcish Dagger, so is that one even any good? That one's- wow, this is 25? What? That one up. That one's 13. Okay, books, uh, learn. And we'll read this one. Board the vessel, Northern Maiden, docked at Raven Rock, take it to Windhelm, then begin your search. Kill the false dragonborn known as Wishborn. Uh, return with words of your success. Legacy. Yeah, yeah. It's the past. And here Dead comes my first Dead visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. And here you are. Good. Come in. Browse the display and let's talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. Let's talk inside. Uh, by the way, just in case you were not aware, those cultists are what sparks off the Dragonborn DLC, which I will probably do eventually because I look freaking love that DLC. Come talk to me when but you're ready to discuss. I am terrified to fight Mirak 
on legendary. Absolutely terrified. Okay, so here's the Mythic Dawn stuff. Ah, yes. Now, that scabbard. Notice the insignia. An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon, the patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. If you've played Oblivion, literally all of this is going to be familiar to you. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Merun's Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise where all his followers would live forever. I remember that. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun's Dagon's scythe. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. We hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders, and the third owner, Jorgen, I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. The Razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his Razor would be invaluable to my collection. Ah, an excellent question. Merun's Dagon is the Daedric Lord of Change, Destruction, and Ambition. Dagon's mythic Dawn cult killed the Septim Dynasty and opened the Oblivion Gates into Tamriel. They called it the Oblivion Crisis. They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering... All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Good luck finding the fragments. Alright, well I think I've, for the most part, explored a lot of the stuff that's going on here in Dawn's story. I don't think there's too many quests I can do. Because I'm pretty sure all these houses are going to wind up being locked. Although this is an alchemy place, right? Yeah. So let's go see if she has any potions. I kind of want to buy some. Potions, if you can't. No, I don't have anything for bad dreams. Take a look. Potions, you have health. Resist magic of shock would be kind of nice, but my gosh, look at that cost. 600 gold, what the heck? Okay, even that's 109, but I don't think I need it yet. Yeah. Water breathing, that may be useful one day. If I were an Argonian, I wouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, let's see. Let's just quick save, just in case. Cowhide, I can turn that into stuff. And let's take some of these potions. Okay. 
And okay, let's go. I think we'll do a little bit of this quest, so let's get rid of those. And I want to get the razor. Let's see. The hilt. I don't know where it is. Okay. Morthal. All right, I'm inside. So let's go get that one. That one shouldn't be too difficult to get because I, I don't think it is. The other ones are going to be insanely difficult to get. So it's going to be a while before I do those, probably. Uh, I may attempt them at some point when I get particularly bored with the goals we're doing. But like I said, after this I'm going to do my best to go around and just... Why are you guys all piled up in one spot? I'm going to do my best to go around and just start a whack ton of quests. Keep your guard up. We supposed to feel safe in our own homes. Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Trust you saw the house that burned down. Procure your bit of business, that bus. And that's on top of noises from the marsh in the night. Tales of monsters. Now this wizard in our mist. What's a man to do if he can't look to his Jarl for help? The world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. How can I? She never speaks with us. She has allowed this wizard, Falcon, to live in our midst practicing gods know what. And now there's talk of rebellion and dragons? What help could Idgrad be against them? No. We can only rely on ourselves. You do well to remember that. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. This might have been a mistake. All right, then. Does he have it with him? So there's the house and then just- Oh! That didn't get caught? What the heck? Psh, okay, gold too? Aww. What say you and you- Why are they hurting you? Okay, well, let's try that again. Are you playing hide and seek? Yes. You're after that damn. Why the heck? 82% failing. Unless I just got seek? really stupidly lucky. Let's try it again. Oh, now it's 57%. Y'all know. Yeah! Alright. So let's figure out where his house is. What's his name? Jorgen. What's the inn? Okay, so this was that quest I was thinking of when I saw the broken down house in Ivarstead. That's a really cool quest. Hut. Maybe that's where Yoda lives. Uh, okay. Thonir's house. Where the heck is your house? Is it over there? That'd be insane. What do you know? Little does Silas know I am not bringing that hilt to him. Oh. At least I don't think I need to bring that hilt to him. Where does that go? Is it here? Yeah. So I don't think these actually weigh anything, even though they say they do. Anyway, I'm going to keep them all, and then I'll take them to him just in case, uh, you know, it actually matters, but I don't know if it really does. Okay, so I think Crack Tusk Keep is really annoying. I think this one, yes, Dead Crone Rock. That's the one that is just horrible. Oh, that's horrible, horrible, horrible. Okay, well, it seems... I guess I'll be starting the Mage's Guild when I finally go to Winterhold. I don't know if I'm going to do the Mage's Guild, because I don't really like it that much, but I may as well start it. 
Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, this was a little bit longer than I expected it to be. I think I'm going to wander around this place and probably Winterhold in the next video because they're somewhat, they're, they're kind of small towns. I'm going to pick up some quests and then I'm going to do the same for a video after that for the other towns that I missed and then we'll actually get back to doing peer questing, so that should be fun. So that'll be it for this video and I will see you in the next part.